what's good? So uh, we are checking out a space that uh, is not far from where I live actually. Super convenient for me, not for you, Will. For me. Good morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? Okay. I've never been through the door yet, so. Okay, not a problem. We're very patient. Nice parking lot back here, huh? Yeah, a lot of spots. Do you like spots? What, what's good is this works well for, for it's deceiving because on the front side, which is directly across from uh, Wall Women Mall, very short on parking, very shallow parking field. Um, but when you drive around back here, you can see, I mean, granted nobody's open for business, but there's not very intense uses here, so um, my thought automatically goes to Boutique Fitness. Um, great, great area for it, and uh, this parking field here will do the trick. Guys, go, go, guys, go, go. Uh oh, cops are coming. Go in the house. Yeah. The house is worse. So go in the house. Stuff is all about glaring. I'm calling these out answers, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Or is he told me to go? Probably got the code. The alarm's going, the yeah. cops are coming. Okay, it is what it is. Recognizing that you're punching it, you know? Yeah. Because you know, tripped already, I think. Oh, there you go. go. Done. Oh. It's still locked. So, this was two spaces that they combined? Right. It's about 6,000 total. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this was open. No, it wasn't like that. There you go. Uh oh, the magnets. Mm. Push, push to exit. This is unbelievable. This is like Fort Knox. Oh, because it was a fur place. Ah. I'll get you a layout, I guess. So just explain to me. So this is 6,000 feet. Right. The there's bathrooms on this side. Right. There's bathrooms on the other is side. Is this all? Can this go away if necessary? Yeah. Not nothing's load bearing. None of this right. stuff. Are there yeah. columns, or we don't know? Um. Yeah. Some okay. columns, but basically pretty open. Okay. Good. But so you have a couple of other ideas. I do. I have plenty of ideas. So I will go back. I have a sales meeting right now with my whole team. So I'm going to share the information. Can you email us a plan or? Okay. Sure. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Get some it. Good pictures. We yeah. got some good video pictures. Everything. Take care, Rick. Appreciate it. Pretty amazing that the entire strip is basically. I could just walk around and vacant. Car. With what? I could just walk no, around. we're going to Starbucks, boy! Oh boy! <laughs> I forgot, boy. You know what we do? So, what do you think of the space? Um, For what we can all see? I could tell, well, I, you know, it's a six thousand square foot space. That was at one time two spaces, right? So I can envision what we're dealing with. Oh, that's a Ciano production right there. You know how we do. Um, so I can envision the space. The uh, going to be very tough to find one user that's going to take 6,000 feet in a, in a strip like that. 
Um, so, look, the owner is not gonna be happy with the amount of money he's gonna have to spend to modify those spaces to get tenants in. That's what I think about the space. G, you want to grab this? Oh, okay. we can't bring it in the office. It has to be like oh. outside. So. Great. <laughs> oh, you want me to bring it home again? Uh, yeah, if you could. You want the charger? It didn't, I don't have it. Uh, Do you have it or no? Do you have one? It's full, it should be fully charged. Yeah. So how long does it have to be on? Like the whole night? Yeah, they just don't What did they do time. last time? Since nothing changed. What are you doing? It was working when it was in my apartment. Really? Yeah. My outlook clearly was not. But my profile was, so we went with just the lead profile. I don't know. We could just throw it out the window and record that. Yeah. And, make, and make it go viral. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Yeah, and then pay for the new laptop with a viral video. What do you think, guys? I think you should do it. Start off the roof. It's a, Lenovo. It. it's a Lenovo, yeah, though. Kind of like Lenovo. Yeah, it's yeah. a piece of shit. It's it like five years old. It's a thick pad. Yeah, it is a piece of shit. Which is really all I need is a piece of shit, but I need a piece of shit that works as opposed <laughs> to just a piece of shit that's like a paperweight. Yeah. I think I get the... I don't know. It's not a huge priority for me. Let's go. You can put it on my desk if you want. I can look at it. Okay. What, that? Yeah. You know what you're doing? Do you know he's an IT guy? No. Are you serious? I didn't know oh, you did really. that? No. He's like oh, yeah. master IT. Really? Yeah, that's what I did before I did this. Oh, you know what? I kind of knew that, but I didn't. <laughs> you just forgot. I he just, he forgot. sees me in a different light now. Right, exactly. You're yeah, just he's, he's way more creative I'm than, not, like, than like your typical IT guy. I'm not here. <laughs> you know, like. You take your well. And grow one, grow the other, and find overlap. Right. So, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. I dig well, it. it. And again, it's just natural. It, for us, it's. it's you know, we're kind of like students of a lot of different things, right? Commercial real estate, more specifically retail real estate, and now mixed use and multifamily and everything that, you know, obviously is uh, all of these kind of hot topics, right? Transit oriented. Yeah, you know, they're, they're live and real. Exactly, but it's, you know, it's for us, it's, we're just naturally being ourselves. You know, we're not trying to get more involved in the, you know, technology that's changing the world. It's just that's who we are, it's what we do, which is very different from a lot of traditional brokerage companies, right? So, you know, we look at ourselves as more on a, you know, we're, we're in service to our clients, right? You know, we're consulting and we're Are they, are they reaching out to you to help change their, you know, in theory, a retailer that's been doing business this way, which needs to be tweaked, mm -hmm. and now you're over there, you as a, you know, hands in a different bunch of pies and, and, and spaces and the future, mm -hmm. they should be calling you saying, what do you think? Help yeah. help us reimagine how to go forward. Are those conversations happening? Absolutely, yeah, they, they, those, those conversations are constantly happening. From um, retailers? From retailers, from anybody in the industry, basically, from from many different companies, retailers. Um, you know, we have clients that are looking to us to, like I said, you know, completely rebuild their website, uh, make it a lot more user friendly, and then mobile friendly, right? Yeah. You know, so that type of stuff. So we do that, um, and then working with them to enhance their their presence on social media. So there was a report, and this would be fast. All right, so no, no, when I walked, just walked out of the meeting with Bob, uh, and walked over there, I guess they were having a powwow about, sorry, they were having a powwow about the newsletter. So I think there's a disconnect between what we believe the newsletter should be and what we did this first run. So I thought it would be good, Gina thought it would be more efficient to have one conversation rather than seven. Yeah, so that's my thoughts. <laughs>